Hello everyone, welcome to Top 10 Character Moments. Today we're breaking down my list for the top 10 best moments of the one and only Puss in Boots. Be warned as there will be spoilers from Puss in Boots The Last Wish, this is your warning. Be sure to tune in every Friday to watch my latest top 10 video. In each video, I will break down my list for a specific character's best moments and why I like them so much. Just remember, this is my personal list, so you don't have to agree with it, but I ask you respect my opinions as I will respect yours. Now, for those who don't know, I'm Ryan Brower. I run another YouTube channel called Sector for Nerds, so I ask not only you subscribe to this channel, but also Sector for Nerds, as it would really mean a lot to me. Thanks, guys. So without any further ado, let's get into some honorable mentions. There will be spoilers from Puss in Boots, The Last Wish on my list. All right, here we go. First up, protecting Donkey. This was a quick moment in Shrek 3 where Donkey is about to get attacked by one of the evil grunts and Puss comes in with his sword and takes him down. It's just one of those moments where it's like, yeah, that's my guy right there, or cat, I guess. Next up, flirting with Fiona. Another quick but funny moment where Fiona asks if the cat sitting on top of Donkey is Shrek and his response is, for you, baby, I could be. Mm -hmm. And finally, explaining the life of a king to Artie. Give some assistance to Donkey on this one too. They both give Artie the rundown on all the extreme moments of being a king, and it pretty much scares Artie to wanting to go back home. I don't know, man, seemed like very helpful information to me. All right, you guys, let's get into the top 10 list itself. You guys ready? Here we go. At number 10, put in on a show for the people. That opening scene of Puss in Boots The Last Wish is incredible. We see the legendary Puss in Boots in action and the entire time it's just him showing off and it's fun to watch. At number 9, turning into Donkey. This was a rather funny scene in Shrek 3 where Donkey and Puss are body swapped. Seeing the two of them try to operate in the other person's shoes is great. I know a lot of people aren't big fans of Shrek 3 and it's not my favorite Shrek movie either, but in my humbled opinion, I'd prefer watching that one over Shrek 4. At number 8, his Christmas story. In the Shrek holiday special called Shrek the Halls, several of the characters share their Christmas stories. The funniest bit is the very end where in the story, he starts playing playing with his Santa hat, and in the current time, he's playing with a Christmas ornament the way a cat would. So everyone gives him a weird look and he goes, I have shamed myself. At number seven, his introduction in Shrek 2. When introduced, all you see are his eyes and hear his deep voice. It was actually kind of sick. And then what enhanced the moment even more is when the king offers him a bag of money to go and take out Shrek. Puss takes out his sword and cuts the bag open, and the first time watching this, I'm like, is he gonna kill the king? This scene alone helps make Puss in Boots my favorite character in the Shrek franchise. At number six, attacking Shrek. This was another Shrek 2 scene where I'm like, this cat is awesome. He single-handedly had Shrek beat until Puss was confronted by a cat's worst enemy. Hairball. Puss ended up begging for Shrek not to kill him and admits the king, aka Fiona's father, paid him to do this. And then minutes later, Puss admits he misjudged Shrek and he ends up joining the crew. Bygones be bygones, you know? At number five, the cute face. I mean, this also helped Puss get into the crew because who can resist such a cute face? Shrek definitely couldn't. Now, there's plenty of cute face moments from Puss in the Shrek franchise. My personal favorite, though, has to be when they're in the castle being chased by guards and Puss decides to hold them off while Shrek and Donkey get to Fiona. He gives them the cute face and they all go, aw, and then he goes from the cute face to a serious face and yells, on guard! and pulls out his sword and takes them all on. What a badass. At number four, live in La Vida Loca. At the end of Shrek 2, Puss and Donkey steal the show with their singing of the song Live in La Vida Loca. Definitely my favorite moment in Shrek 2 and one of my favorite Puss and Donkey moments as well. Every time I hear this song, I think of these two. For those that have played the DC video game called Gotham Knights, there's a scene in that game where you fight bad guys in a prison and this song is playing. Different artist, of course. But still, it's one of my favorite moments in the game. Whenever I'm playing video games and there's good music playing, it makes the fight scenes that much more epic and intense for me. Okay, back to the list. At number three, 
accepting Pero. It takes him a while. At first, he wants nothing to do with the dog, but after going on an adventure with him for a while and being upset about the way things ended with Kitty, he finally accepts the dog's love and support. It's very touching. At number two, admitting to Kitty that he's afraid. This is one of the biggest bits of development for Puss in Boots, the legend actually admitting to being afraid. In the words of Kanan Jarrus in the animated series Star Wars Rebels, speaking to his apprentice Ezra Bridger, says everyone's afraid, but admitting it as you just did makes you braver than most, and it's a step forward. I'm sure Kitty appreciated it, him being so open and honest with her, good stuff Puss, good stuff. And finally, for my favorite Puss in Boots moment, choosing one life over the nine. The entire movie of Puss in Boots The Last Wish, he's obsessed with getting his nine lives back, but after being on an adventure with Kitty and Pero and realizing how much he cares about them, Puss decides to fight for this specific life he has now. It makes him feel like a whole new person, or cat, lol. He faces death face to face, and death was taken back by it. He thought he was coming for an arrogant legend, but instead he's dealing with someone completely new. So death goes away knowing that they'll meet again one day. So there you have it guys, that's my list for the top 10 Puss in Boots moments. Stay tuned every Friday for a new episode of Top 10 Character Moments. Next week, I'll be breaking down my picks for the top 10 best moments of The Little Chef, Remy. Thank you all for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.